you looked at the cow and said, you know what, you know what we need? We need a cow up in the upstairs hallway, right outside Glimmer's bedroom. Talk me through A to B here, Spitz. How did that thought process work out where you said, this is a perfectly rational thing for me to be? You know what? Just leave the cow there. It's fine. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Noble Fates, where I see Amanda has taken some time to train on the training dummy, getting better at hitting things. So we've got a few injuries kicking around. We did have a couple of raids. Some folks came by and raided us, and then some imps popped out of nowhere and made our lives slightly difficult. We're healing up from that, although Spitz is very, very sad about things. We need to get some more trees cut down. We have very, very little wood kicking around here, and that is likely slowing up the whole building process. But I've made a decision, an executive decision, if you will. We're moving downstairs. We're going down into the mines, and we're going to live down there because I think it's just going to be more defensible. I think we'll be able to defend from raids better than we can out here because they kind of pop up out of nowhere, and we don't really have any walls or anything set up. Going down into the mines with just one entrance and exit point, that's got to be more defensible. Now, I may have to tear down the whole house that I built so laboriously, but it's all going to be for the better. And Glimmer here's got a bit of a level up. Well, what do you got going on, Chief? You are now, what, level 5? Ah, so you get your level 5 ability. What's it going to be? What do we got to look forward to here? We have, uh, let's see here, farming active. All right, so plus three to farming for two hours with a one hour cooldown. We've got vulnerable, okay, so you could lower somebody's armor. That's not bad. And then crafting passive, oh, plus two to crafting. Oh, yeah, you can't beat that. No, we're definitely taking plus two to crafting. We need to get a lot more crafting done around here. In fact, speaking of which, what have we got on the old uh, crafting table these days? What have we got lined up? got another cloth hood, some shoes, a bow, and the arrows. Okay, Tug, what are you, uh, what you doing down here? You're relaxing. Okay, do you want to, do you want to craft anything, or, or not, or, okay, you, you just, um, you do as you feel, man. I'm gonna set Clipper on number one for logging, get some more of these trees cut down there. Now, what does that make? Your number two is firefighting, That that's fine. You're actually really good at firefighting, too. Three is building. All right, so cut down some trees first, and then get to the building, because you're pretty good at that. Knuckle, you're number two on building, because you really like doing it. We just need to get the raw material, so let's just keep the tree cutting idea going along here more wood the better. Uh, who's number one on mining these days? Who's uh, who's into that? Nobody is number one. Now, Clipper, you really, really like mining, but I just put your number one at logging. I'd actually love it if you did both, man. Uh, Tug, you're pretty good at mining. I've got you up on foraging and crafting. That's all pretty good. Actually, I should put Glimmer on crafting because you, you just got better at it. You don't like it. You don't enjoy it. But I'm going to put it on anyway because you're pretty decent at it. You're actually the best we've got. Okay, what was my idea? Oh, mining. Uh, let's get you doing more mining there, Tug. And let's see. That will put building at 6, logging at 7, foraging 4. That's all fine. Yeah, that, that's all good stuff. All right, you get on that, man. And because they don't have enough to do around here, I'm going to get some stairs going. So put stairs. Oh, you can't quite do it in there, can you? That's fine. The one set of stairs will be totally fine. Let's get... I want to get rid of this door. So don't bother doing that, please. Oh, no, don't rush it. No, no, sorry, sorry. I actually want you to cancel it. And then we're going to get some more digging going. Yay, digging. You're going to get this going all the way to here. That's going to be one long corridor, and then we're going to start to get up some other rooms in here. Something something along those lines. I'm thinking primarily for storage, and then I'd love to see get some more individual bedrooms here. So put that there. This will all hopefully make sense when I see it all dug out. Okay, what's everyone's problem down here? Glimmer wants three P, uh, three prestige, rather, piece of foot gear, feet gear. So you want some shoes. Gotcha. 
Amanda wants a bed. Okay, well, Amanda, we are working on the whole having more bedrooms for people. I think all of this I'm going to largely cancel. Uh, no, not all of that. Goodness, no. No, no, no. Just just the bits that I outlined here. I'm going to give Spitz some more clothes and see if that just kind of cheers him up a little bit. There's some very, very prestigious hood you can wear there. I have... Now, you don't like wearing shoes, but you'd like some shoes. You're very... You're a complicated man, Spitz, so I'm going to give that to Spitz. Prestige 8, you'd like 19. Uh, let's make sure we are dismantling those busted items there as best we can. Salvage those. What else have you got? The, you've already got a stone axe. Oh, I could give you the really good shoes. Plus one to mining on that, which I couldn't, you know, one way or another, that's fine. I'm going to take your shoes back off. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of teasing you here, and give you those instead. All right, now your prestige is 22, which is over your ambition. Hopefully that's going to cheer you up. I'm sure you'll get a lot more cheery once you actually are not horribly, horribly injured. How's everything going downstairs, kids? How are we doing? Oh, we're making progress. Okay, they've got that dug out, and I outlined the walls in there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make this storage of some sort. They've got that bit dug out. I'm going to sit on that for a little bit. And they are starting to get more of these walls put up. Uh, still some wood coming in. Okay, yep, it's it's getting there. We are chopping those trees down. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's just go back upstairs. Corn is ready to be taken out here. Oh, the graveyard's getting a little big. Yeah, graveyard's getting pretty big around here. Oh, somewhere along the way we made... Oh, hi, Amari, what's up? Uh, you're here on behalf of Captain Lilbit. Are you just going to hang out? You're, you're probably just one of these guys who's going to hang out. Yeah, totally hang out. Um, so we made that, uh, we made the things that we were making. We're down to the bow and the arrows at this point. Well, let's get some stuff going on there. Let's make some shoes. Uh, make, uh, you know what, make a couple of those. All right, and then bump that up. I'd actually like to prioritize that. Bump that up to there. All right, because a man, uh, sorry, Glimmer wants those good shoes if we can get them. Still qu haven't quite figured out how a bow works yet, but hope springs eternal. And our cows seem to be doing okay. I mean, got three cows. They're all, they're all here. I, we, I guess we're getting milk and stuff out of them. We could theoretically slaughter them. We're making the pen that I don't actually feel does anything, but I'm going to keep making it anyway. I mean, they're halfway through it. It's a shame to start breaking it down now. How are we doing down here? Okay, less progress being made than I would like since the last time I checked. We are starting to get this dug out over here. That'll be somebody's bedroom. Probably Amanda. She really, really wants one. Oh, no, hang on. They, they're they putting the cow inside the pen. I mean, the, the cow just walked out of the pen, but that's because there's no pen there. But somebody just came in and hauled the cow into the pen and dropped him off there. Well, maybe the pens work after. Uh, Spitz, where are you going with the cow? Where, where do you... you, you ha, whoa, whoa. You put the cow upstairs in the bedroom. Why? What? What? Spitz... Talk me through talk me through here. Talk me through your thought process. You looked at the cow and said, you know what, you know what we need? We need a cow up in the upstairs hallway, right outside Glimmer's bedroom. Talk me through A to B here, Spitz. How did that thought process work out where you said this is a perfectly rational thing for me to be you know what, just leave the cow there, it's fine. It's a good enough place as any for it. And the cow is quite sensibly decided to leave. I would too. I would be a cow saying, I, I don't belong up here. I can't sleep in this person's bed. I'm going to go outside and then fall asleep at the door because I got really, really sleepy. Okay, pen is done. We are just randomly moving the cows around. I'm not sure what, what the goal is there. We kind of pick them up and move them somewhere else, and then we put them a different place after that. We're, we're very complicated with cows. All right, I'm just going to look at my downstairs mining area and see what's going on. All right, we made a little bit of progress in there. Little tiny bit of progress. Okay, it's coming along. It's not not happening. You know what? I'm not going to bother with that door. Don't bother with that. We will get some more digging outlined. Let's have this go like this, say, and then we could do a couple more bedrooms over here. So like that and that. And then that, and that, and maybe one more on this side. 
I don't really know how this is going to go along. I'm just kind of winging it. Nobody is surprised by that. I'm just kind of kidding out one bedroom down here. Again, probably for Amanda. I'm sure that bed will turn out to be at least two prestige. Let's get some lights turned on in the place. So how about a torch right there? And uh, let's get a little bit of decoration going. What do we have around here? How about something standing? Uh, bookshelf. You can have a chest, Amanda. Uh, yeah, you can have a basic chest that could go, say, I don't know, right about here, here, here. Where do you want your chest to live? There you go. I'm gonna need a little bit more copper to do that chest. Uh, that's probably fine. We're swimming in copper. There's just copper lot. Yeah, okay, I got plenty of copper here, guys. No shortage of copper. Why don't you gather all of that, and that's way, way more than what I need. The binge poems are leaving. Spitz is looking happier. Is it because I put on the shoes that you don't like? Because they were pretty good shoes, and I gave you a plus on mining. So you better be pretty happy. I don't think Spitz is going to last. I have a feeling that Spitz is not long for this colony. He's very sad often. Uh, we could do with some more trees getting chopped down. Quick level up from Tug there. You are slightly better in nursing. Good. Yeah, I put a rush on the bed and Spitz is going to take his sweet time learning how to build it. Actually, he's doing pretty well. And you just leveled up, so even better. Maybe you'll get slightly better at bed building. What are you at now? Level 7. Okay, cooking up. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Cooking's good. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the problem over here? We might be lacking wood. I did- oh, Knuckle's just right in here. Yeah, Knuckle ain't even bothering with Spitz. Okay, what did we turn out on the Prestige? Prestige 6. Fantastic. Amanda, this is gonna be all you. So let's give Amanda that Tier 3 bedroom. There you go. Your Prestige far, far more than your ambition. That should satisfy that. Still working on the shoes, man. I'm still working on your shoes, Glimmer. Don't sweat that. And Amanda, your bedroom is- basically in a cave right now, but the idea of walls are there. I think I'll do this bedroom in stone floors. Oh yeah, that's gonna look nice. I might not have enough stone to do it. In fact, I'm pretty sure I don't, but that should be fairly easy to acquire. Let's get some more furniture in here. Obviously a bed could go, say, right about there. And let's see what we can do to spruce the place up a little bit. How about you had a table and chair? Oh, Steven, what's up? Um, right, that's an odd opening. Uh, the gold dragons are here. Neat. Two arms. Okay, fantastic. Okay, everybody, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, where, where is everybody? Uh, everybody, oh, they're over there. Okay, uh, everybody needs to get drafted. Hopefully these guys might chip in a little bit. We'll see. All right, I've got the team assembling here. Let's go and... Ooh, anyone. You know what? Take out Steven here, if we can. Uh, why are you all covered in dust, Carl? Are you some... Are you hidden in some way? Is that like a smoke screen or something? Uh, Carl, come here. I want to know about you. Uh, what? What's your deal? What do you... What do you have on you? Can I tell? I don't know if I can see your possessions at this point. How about overview? You have a stone axe and a torch. And you have an ability I don't know something about. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you're ignored. We can't target you. That's what that smoke screen is. All right. Yeah, I've seen that ability pop up. So we can't target Carl at all. Unfortunately, Steven, we can absolutely target you. We can target you. Uh, Spitz. Spitz, why don't you get in here? And Amanda, why don't you get in here? Let's see if we can deal with Zag. I notice Dolly's just buggering off here. Dolly just ain't interested. Uh, we're doing okay against Steven. Jonas? Oh, Jonas is not our friend. Jonas is angry and red. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, can I... Can I enlist the cows? Where are my war cows? Guys, what do you keep doing with the cows? That's a cow. Uh, yeah, we're enlisting the cow. Uh, cow versus Jonas. Good. Where are the rest of my cows? You keep picking them up and moving them around. What are you people doing with cows around here? Uh, what, what is this? That is Octoberberry seeds. Okay, not a cow. Not a cow. Ooh, can I, uh, can I harvest that? I'm going to gather that just while I happen to have my eyes on it. All right, one war cow coming in. None of you were my cows, right? Uh, no, you're all somebody else's cows. Okay, back to work here. Uh, Steven's going down fairly quickly. I still can't target Carl. 
I know, I know you're ignored. All right, let's see if we can get... Oh, hang on, Jonas, I forgot about you. Uh, everybody get in on Jonas if you could. Take him down a little bit. The cows are just marching on through. Cows don't care. Cows are just coming right on through. Somebody else's cows, therefore somebody else's problem. Uh, Spitz is kind of being hung up by the cow parade. All right, get in there, Spitz. Come on, give me a good one. Amanda, you spent all that time at the training dummy. Let's get something done here. Uh, Clipper, why don't you peel off and work on Zag here because um, Zag's being a little bit fussy. Uh, nope, Zag. Carl has decided to attack Clipper. And you guys are just doing the best you can. Don't worry, War Cow is going to be in at some point. Are you my cow? Uh, yeah, you're my cow. Uh, enlist you. Come come here. No, enlist you. Attack Zag. War Cow away. War Cow. Lo war, war Cow. Yeah, yeah, there you go, War Cow. Go. Go. Cows are not known for their speed. Not even a little bit. Okay, they're running away. We're all trying to get in some last digs on them. How about we just maybe focus on Zag? Because he's right there, right in the middle. Let's just see if we can take him out. And then we're going to skin you all and eat you later. It's going to be really, really fun. Now, nah, you know what? Just let him go, guys. Let him go. Everybody back to work here. Let him go. They're, they're out the door. Okay. Um, Amanda. Oh, Jonas. Are you, are you still alive? Can I capture you? What hap I want to see what happens if I capture you. I have no prison. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. I'm going to send Amanda to capture you and find out. Um, Amanda's also my primary butcher, though. So, actually, you know what? Hold tight. Amanda, could you loot Steven? Glimmer, why don't you capture Jonas and just see what happens with him? Are right, you going to come downstairs? You're going to go out and see Jonas. Amanda's coming in to do the looting, which is good. Those are the only two that actually got killed. Huh. All right, so what's your what's your deal? You're taking all his stuff. Yup. Are you, are you going to need to capture him? Are, is he captured? He might be captured. Transport him to where? Where are you going to put him? Uh, where's, where's your little line going there? Uh, oh, over to a bed. Okay. Do you belong to us now? Amanda, how's the looting going? Because I'm going to need you to be doing some butchering momentarily. What did we get there? Deer hide. Ooh, fun. Lots of people hate that, but deer hide. Uh, Tug, can you... You can't, you can't tend to him. You can unrestrain him, execute him, or free him. I'd like you to tend him. I feel he's probably going to bleed to death or something. We did hit him a lot. Uh, Amanda, could you maybe be a little quicker on the looting because we want to get the butchering underway. Uh, what did we get here? That's some cotton. Okay, that's cool. A pair of pants. Oh, you're done. Amanda, great. Uh, could we uh, could we get this guy butchered, please? Yeah. Amanda, could you prioritize butchering Steven? Uh, I don't feel comfortable. Really? Because you've had no problem with that in the past. All right, well, you know what? I'll just see who takes the task. We'll we'll get this guy eaten or not. Ooh, somewhere along the way, we made the bow. Didn't even notice that we did that. Okay, what have I got here? Uh, raw human meat. I'll go back to that. Raw human times one and raw imp times nine. All right, well, let's get that cooked up. How about we did cooked imp times a bunch and then that one human one. So do that. Uh, we're auto-saving. We're very excited about eating some imp. And then how much uh, raw human? I should probably wait for this guy to get butchered. Then we'll figure out how much raw human we have. Amanda, what are you up to doing? What, what, are, you at, what are you after here? You are cooking some imp. Fantastic. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the short bow. I'm going to give that to Knuckles. And did we make some arrows? We must have made some arrows in there somewhere. Again, let's be salvaging all the stuff that ain't no good and all of this wow yep all of that is just garbage okay oh what did i get here cloth shoes of cleaning neat and planting cloth shoes uh which one uh which one would somebody prefer maybe okay cleaning or planting should figure out who's either bad at that or good at that and give it to them. Well, is there anyone who needs the prestige? Definitely not Clipper. No, no, Amanda. No, you're looking pretty good. Tug, uh, you could use them. Yeah, I'm going to take your cloth shoes and give you... You don't really like planting. 
but you like cleaning. Okay, I'm going to give you these. That's your ambition way up. Now, Amanda, how are you doing? Oh, we need to get rid of your shoes anyway. So take those and you can have the planting shoes instead. Okay, good. That all seemed to work out. Now, things have gone a little weird in the downstairs bedrooms here. I went to go finish doing the bedroom over here. And when I go to put the bed up, there is indeed a bed earmarked exactly where I thought there was one. I could put another one up. But then when I go away from that, the bed disappears. Hopefully the gang still knows that it's here and needs to be built. I also don't have the outlines for the chest or the torch or anything like that. Not quite sure what's going on there. We're going to chalk that one up to early access. What's going on down here? Oh, somebody pooped on the floor. Fantastic. Great. And it's winter time. The snows have come. We are cooking up hopefully either imp or human. I don't really care which. Food is looking a little bit light, but we are, again, cooking some more up right now. Uh, corn could be brought in. Earmark that storage area downstairs. That should be somewhere else where we can put it. Yeah, they're already moving stuff down here. Great. So we, Oh, good. We got some corn down here. Uh, that's a wooden wall, Dave. Got a, a stone axe. Fantastic. All right. Um, let's see. What is my next move here? I'd like to know what the glitchiness is with my wood walls because I can't see my outlines anymore. I have actually outlined much of this for wooden walls, and you can clearly see that it's been straightened out and smoothed as if there were wooden walls there, but I can't see my outlines. That's a tad fussy. And no surprise, Clipper has leveled up. Of course you have, Clipper. You're awesome. We all love you around here. A little bit of a plus in everything. We actually, apart from the building tasks, we don't actually have a lot on our plate. Storage, yes, but that's because I just opened up a new storage area. I get that. Cleaning, okay. So building is basically all of this. There's nothing above ground. Now, see, Tug was clearly working on whatever it is I put over here. I got a floor outlined, but we can't see it anymore for some reason. There is a floor here, I assure you. So structure, uh, floors, wood. Yeah, the floor is right there. Now I can see all my outlines. So there's my torch and my chest. There's the bed over here, and I accidentally built a wall here. I'd love to dismantle it, but I can't see it when I uh, when I come out of that. Oh well, we're all gonna have to figure it out as we go along. Amanda, I see you've leveled up. How's the uh, how's the cooking people thing going outside? Oh, you're level five. You'll get an ability now. Neat. Uh, what are we going to get? Hopefully, more cooking people things. So we've got what. Uh, passive hauling, all right, plus two hauling, passive farming, plus three farming. Oh, no, sorry, that's an active. Excuse me, that's an active. I'd have to check that. And passive ranching. Well, you are the one who figured out how cows work. I know you don't like ranching, but you're getting really, really good at it. So maybe just uh, kind of suck it up, cupcake. All right, my floors are going in and I can see them. So when a thing is built, I can see it, but I can't see my... My plans like I used to be able to. Weird. Now, Jonas, what exactly is it that I do with you around here? Can I can I make you join us? How would we go about doing this? Overview. All right, you got no stuff. Needs. Uh, you've actually been fairly well attended to. Even your comfort is going up. Vitals, yeah, you're in pain and you've lost a little health, but it is ticking up. You're not dying on us. Obviously, you have no jobs. Your prestige, I don't care about. Your steam. Uh, you've socialized so much. Good. And Glimmer captured me. Yeah, we sure did. Obedience. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What do I do with this? All right, so is this just going to gradually tick up over time? I don't know. I'll just kind of keep an eye on it. I've never had a prisoner in this game before. We're just going to see what happens. And people got needs again. All right, Glimmer wants some shoes and Maven wants some lower gear. All right, what can we do along those lines? Let's get gear, and how about some feet? Uh, can I make hide boots? I don't know. How much hide do I have? Any? No, those are shoes. Actually, I have shoes. Might be able to just make... Well, we'll try and make the magic ones. What could I see in hides up here? No, not enough to do what I want to do, so I'm just going to make regular cloth shoes and then lower gear. Lower gear. Leggings of some sort. Okay. 
make some leggings. Maybe I should make another, now that we figured out bow, maybe I should actually do that. Let's make a short bow, and then we'll make some more arrows, I guess. Yeah, make wooden arrows, please. Somebody knows how to do it, because we made one of them. Hi, Cheese, what's your deal? I should probably be talking to you guys more, but you don't generally have anything to say. Oh, by the way, there's a deer in the house. Oh, yeah, I tore down all the walls here. Forgot about that. Oh, well. And King Knuckle himself getting a bit of a level up up in building. Good. That's great. That's primarily what we're doing. Speaking of which, how are we doing out here? Okay, we've made a few sections of wall. More trees are being chopped down, so that will happen whenever it happens. We've made no real moves over here. Okay, it's coming along. How many bedrooms did I actually earmark? Two, five bedrooms out of seven. But... Clipper and Glimmer have bedrooms upstairs, so I could theoretically house everyone. Speaking of which, Glimmer, you also have a level up. What have you got going on these days? Ranged up? Oh, good. Maybe we'll give you the new bow, crafting and farming. All right. Uh, toot and Rim. Could you guys get out of my storage area, please? I'm not really comfortable with that. And somewhere along the way, we just got some raw beef. Did we, did we slaughter one of the war cows? Is that a thing that happened? Is that something that automatically happens? All right, well, 10 raw beef, we may as well cook it. So I know not everyone likes it, but you know what? It's food. Get 10 of those, please. And I've also got the, what do you mean? Fire pit reserved by Amanda. Yeah, well, she'll get there when she gets there. It's all fine. Don't, don't sweat it, game. All right, Glimmer, I've got a pair of shoes for you here. So we've got Craftsman's Cloth Shoes. You're not really going to like it that much, but I'm going to give it to you anyway because that's what you wanted, and your prestige is very good. Okay, that want has been met. We're working on Maven's things, Maven Knuckles things. Cheese Wanderers are here, and the Sharp Wanderers. Could they not just combine themselves and be the Sharp Cheese Wanderers? I'm going to put in a candelabra in this bedroom because I think it looks cool. I'll need some more copper for that, but that's okay. I can, I can cope with that. Uh, remind me how much exactly 24. Uh, there's the whole countryside is littered in copper. I've got plenty of copper. Show me large. A brazier, a bronze brazier. Oh, that sounds fun. I'm going to put one of those right in the middle here. That looks, that's going to look really, really cool when I get enough uh, copper for that. And uh, what else have I got in here? I've got no real decorations in here. This is the only time I can see it when I click off of this. Everything goes away. That's a little fussy. How about a bookcase? A uh, bookcase. Everyone likes to have a bookcase around here. Put this guy right here. Now, what is encouraging is I'm not getting the freakouts that we had for the past couple of parts of Noble Fates, where they're being very indecisive about what they want to build, and they're just getting paralyzed with that. Everything is getting built, slowly, because I've outlined a lot of building stuff for them, but things are getting built, so we've got another bedroom here ready to go. So Clipper, Glimmer, and Amanda all have their own beds now. I think, you know what, Spitz, you're often very, very fussy, so why don't we give you your own bedroom here? You are going to have this tier three bedroom, uh, do I have any other leggings? I do. I'm going to give you these and then take these ones away and make sure that we are salvaging those. Okay. Cloth leggings. Oh, who was it who wanted uh, a thing? Uh, me. N Knuckle. Maven Knuckle wants a thing. Belongings. Oh, yeah. My leggings are garbage. Okay. That. I'm going to take that and take that. Do I have another tunic I could be throwing on that isn't completely garbage? Not as such. I will make myself something. Oh, I could make a fine cloth tunic instead of just a regular one. All right. So uncommon chance 56 to 55 percent and then a little bit more for epic or rare. This doesn't seem to have a chance for that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make the regular cloth tunic then. And you know, you know what? Actually make a couple of these. Let's start getting better gear for people. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm not going to have the cotton for this, I imagine. But I had three tunics made. And then maybe something else. How about uh, some leggings? You know what? Just some leggings. Make three leggings. If I've got the cotton for all of it. If I don't, the bill will just sit there until the spring. And then we'll have some then. 
and we'll start like upgrading everybody's gear as we go along, especially if people really want that because that will increase their happiness around here. Spitz, by the way, how are you doing? Oh, you're looking super happy right now. You are looking super, super happy. Yeah, look at all that green. Look at all that green. How about your steam, though? That's the real key, though, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of green there. It's clean. You've socialized. Uh, you're liking me now. Maven Knuckle, because uh, I gave you some shoes. All right, and the hood and the bedroom. Yeah, you are way happier with what's going on. How are we doing down here, kids? We got my stone floor done. That's neat. Uh, did, oh, no, I put the candelabra up here. I was going to say I didn't put a torch in there. I put the candelabra up, and we're working on this part. Okay, the plan is proceeding. So the moving downstairs idea is definitely proceeding here. Again, a little bit slowly, but I've got a lot for them to be building. At least it's progressing. They are building it, rather than that little paralyzing, we don't know what to build thing that we had for a couple of parts. They are getting it done in, in, the, in a fairly timely manner. So that is probably an excellent place to call it on Noble Fates for today. I think good progress today. This is outlining itself very, very well. Weird little glitch there where I can't see my blueprints anymore, but we'll all kind of try to learn to cope with that as best we can. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I mean, you just have no idea how vitally important a toilet is until you don't have one in space. You know when those alarm company advertisements say somebody is the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds? It's these guys. It's the Powells. They are, in fact, the victim of a robbery every 11 seconds because, um, me. Gotta give these guys credit for doing jumping jacks in plate mail armor. That is a hardcore workout. Wow. You, like all guards in the entirety of Elix, are a terrible guard. You specifically said, I can't go in here until I complete a quest. But look at me, Xander. I'm going in here without completing a quest.